This is an important day in the life of the university, a day to celebrate the success of our graduates. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you to this ceremony and to formally declare this congregation of the university open. Please be seated. Good morning, everyone. My name is Professor Bob Nicol, and I'm the Pro Vice Chancellor for Research and Innovation here at the University of Portsmouth. Dear Vice Chancellor, my learned colleagues, heads, members of the university community, distinguished guests, I'm going to take this off if that's all right. graduates, parents, family and friends. I am delighted to be here today on this important occasion for our graduates. You have achieved something great. And let me start by offering you my sincere congratulations. You have been tested over the last few years. And through your hard work and dedication, you have achieved the goal of a university degree and changed your life forever. At this moment, we should also remember all those who helped you on your university journey, especially the academic staff and professional staff who helped you with your education and training. We should also thank your family and friends who have supported you during this testing time. Therefore, I would like to invite you, our graduands, to stand up and give those people a warm applause. Thank you. You can sit down now. While today we celebrate the end of your present university time, it is also a moment to reflect on your futures. The world beyond these walls is an amazing, ever-changing place, and we need your energy, your skills, and your passion. So I say to you, go forth and get involved. Regardless of your political views, Brexit has changed this country. We need a new generation of leaders to take us forward and, most importantly, bring this country back together with a common purpose and vision. Climate change is real and cannot be ignored with the, the Antarctic glaciers melting at an increasing rate and will disappear within a century, raising sea levels by half a meter. This is your future, and it is the future of communities like Portsmouth. We need talented people like you to address this challenge. Revolutions in medical care will extend your lives beyond my wildest dreams. The number of people living beyond 100 is increasing across the world, creating a range of social issues and opportunities. So please remember, you are running a marathon, not a sprint and you can take some time along the way to enjoy the scenery and think about your ambitions in life. As you leave us today, be proud of your university, which has prepared you well for this future. Remember the values of being open, ambitious, and never settling for second best. The university has never been stronger, with more students than ever before over 24,000 undergraduates and nearly 1,000 postgraduates. The university was recently ranked 21st in the Guardian League table, the highest ranked university on the south coast of England. Our outstanding researchers uh, continue to change the world with the discovery of plastic-eating enzymes and the detection of gravitational waves 
ripples in space-time from distant colliding black holes. Our researchers are working together with international partners on a range of strategic themes, including artificial intelligence, bioengineering, ocean governance, immersive technologies, responsible fashion, and preserving our heritage. The University of Portsmouth will always be your university, so please stay in touch. You are our ambassadors and help us realize our ambition of being the top modern university in the UK. Be our champions in your workplace, with your families and with your communities. Also, the future of employment will change in the coming decades. Please consider coming back and studying again with us. And the future of education will be digital. And it will allow you to study online anywhere in the world. So you are always welcome. Finally, before I leave you, I'd like to give you some advice. Whatever you do in life, do it with passion and optimism. Several studies now show that optimistic people live healthier lives and therefore live longer. It is something I try and do every day. Focus on solutions, not the problems. And also, be kind. Enjoy your day with your family and friends. And finally, please take lots of photographs. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, we now come to the formal part of the ceremony, and I invite the Vice-Chancellor and Academic Registrar to make the formal declarations, after which the students will proceed first to the Vice-Chancellor and then to the Executive Dean of the Faculty of Science, Professor Sharia Hoskins. Thank you. Vice-Chancellor. As academic registrar, I confirm that those presented at this ceremony have successfully completed their studies and have satisfied all conditions and requirements of the university. By the authority of the university, I confirm that all those who are duly qualified are hereby admitted to the awards for which they are presented. Vice Chancellor, I present to you the following successful candidates from the Department of Psychology. Rebecca Carvel. <clears throat> Lydia Clayton. Emily Rhodes Cordingly. Harriet Cramphorn. Simone de la Cruz. <laughs> Nikila Deshmuk. <laughs> With first class honours, Yasmin Dummett. <laughs> Joe Fairweather. Elena Gonzalez Viamel Silva. <laughs> Megan Haynes. <laughs> Sarah Henbury. <laughs> Ella Henschel. <laughs> Georgia Horwood. Caitlin Milan. Georgia Morlin. 
with first class honours, Caitlin Maxwell. <laughs> Emily McCoy. <laughs> Olivia Merrison. Katsia Mukonkole. <laughs> Isabel Najera. <laughs> Josh Quizapere. <laughs> Millie Schofield. Molly Snape. And with first class honours, Yoshi Steele. Autumn Stenhouse. Abby Tullett. Cherie Watson. Bethany Widden. <clears throat> with first class honours and with the John Dennis Prize for the best undergraduate BSc forensic psychology dissertation and the Jerry Needham Prize for academic improvement, Danielle Wilson. <clears throat> for Bachelor of Science in Psychology, Holly Acton. Tanya Ahmed. Zara Ahmed. Aaron John Albrecht. Paris Andreo. Kumi Anifowoshe. Appleton. With first class honours, Vlad Arhai. With first class honours, Isabel Assel. Keenan Atkinson Cox. Holly Baker. With first class honours, Chelsea Barron. Carly Barrett. With first class honours and with the British Psychological Society Wessex branch, Tony Gale Undergraduate Dissertation Prize, Joe Benbow. With first class honours, Sophie Berryman. Christopher Bone. Luke Brown. Donna Bruce. Kira Budhu. With first class honours, Jasmine Chahal. <laughs> Wei E. Chaya. <laughs> Georgia Christoffi. <laughs> Daniel Clark. <laughs> With the prize for contribution to the undergraduate psychology student community, Selene Cooper. <laughs> With first class honours, Carolina Barlow. <laughs> Jake Cowshill. 
Lillian Dent. Isabel Diaz Gallagher. Irini Dimitriou. And with first class honours, Harriet Dolan. Charlotte Dorm Dormoy. Rebecca Drage. Darling Duffield. Anna Duncan. Despo F. Starthu. Chloe Elphick. Charlene Estua. Bethany Ewans. With first class honours, Eloise Fenton. Joseph Finch. Kiara Finn. Rebecca Fisher. And with first class honours, Cameron Fox. Lois Ganta. Amber Gilani. Chelsea Goldsmith. With first class honours, Emily Gosden. With first class honours, Katie Graham. Isabel Graham. Chloe Gray. With first class honours, Liam Groves. Sydney Guy. With first class honours, Amy Hall. Kira Hall. Sophie Hammond. Haripsima Harutinian. Matthew Hawkins. Bethany Healy. Sophie Heath. Emily Hicks. Matthew Hill. Emily Hurst. Owen Hughes. Jenna Hines. Paige Imsen. Selena Iqbal. With the Lauren Stedman Prize for Professional Achievement in Psychology, Athira Joji. Mazar Kalam. Emma Katsulidu. With first class honours, Laura Keane. Diane Kelly. Abby Kempner.
Lamine Karubi. With first class honours, Paula Kobolinska. Yvonne Konstantinidou. Adriana Kraleva. Jamie Lacey. With first class honours, Rosemary Lavender. Zara Lawrence. Toby Lehman. Katie Lee. Elise Leibniz. Freya Lenton. Laura Levitt. Charlotte Long. Natalie Lyme. Becky Limpani. Vanessa McCurson. Faye Maybanks. Joy Bagoa. Liam McCarthy. Katie McManaman. Kieran Meller. Priyanka Mystery. Molly Morgan. Philippa Morris. Rebecca Monroe. Kavina Naraya. With first class honours, Lewin Newin. Katie O'Grady. Kirsty O'Neill. Jose Ojeda Laeo. Liam Oliver. Kaylee Orgill. <laughs> Joanne Pan. <laughs> Victoria Patching. <laughs> Kinal Patel. <laughs> Shareen Patel. Christiana Patain. <laughs> With first class honours, Sophie Phillips. <laughs> Lucas Plaza. Erin <laughs> Pollard. <laughs> With first class honours, Chloe Powell. Prince. With first class honours, Christopher Pro. With first class honours, Shola Radford. Mia Rabin Roberts.
Ritma Ramesa. Katie Rams. Uh, Priya Raviendra Nathan. With first class honours and with the Jerry Neenan Prize for Academic Improvement, Ramkumar Ravindran. Jack Reese. Jessica Reese Matcham. Abby Robinson. Erin Rogers. Jess Rose. With first class honours, Daniela Rourke. Troy Sargent. Bethany Grace. Jody Shoesmith. <laughs> Hannah Silver. <laughs> Holly Smith. <laughs> With first class honours, Roxanne Smith. <laughs> Nicole Starrock. Molly Stratton. Yay! Ella Strutt. <laughs> Lena Sir. <laughs> Matthew Taylor. <laughs> With the James Ost Prize for Exceptional Contribution to Psychology Research, Amelia Thomas. Dennis Thomas. Harriet Townsend. Joe Trigg. Alicia Tumber. Sophie Irwin. <laughs> Matilda Van Orden. <laughs> With first class honours, Isabel Webster Kell. <laughs> Leo West. <laughs> Martika West. Daniel Whalen, and with first class honours, Chloe Ann White. Josie Ann Wilson. Amber Witts. Lauren Wright. Christy and Teller. This concludes the presentation of students from the Department of Psychology. Vice Chancellor. I present to you the following successful candidates from the Department of Geography. For the award of Bachelor of Arts in Geography, with first class honours, and with the Department Prize for Academic Excellence and Performance, Isha Amin. With first class honours, Edward Baker.
With first class honours, Joe Brown. Jonathan Burstow. Joshua Chapman. Amy Clark. Anisha Danani. With first class honours, Rebecca Dilnot. Oliver Eager. Hayley Ingle. Sam Jarvis. Oliver Jocelyn. Sion Maldi. Max Nicholas. Yash Patel. Harry Powell. Laura Ratcliffe. With first class honours and with the Department Prize for Academic Excellence and Performance, Ella Rigloth. <laughs> Jacob Ryan. <laughs> uh, Camille Subanit. <laughs> Ryan Short. <laughs> With first class honours, i.e. Anna Springer. I beg your pardon, Ayanna Spr Springer. <laughs> Lily Staines. <laughs> With first class honours, Kirsty Turner. <laughs> Nirali Vicaria. <laughs> Elliot Wheeler. Louise Winfield. Tim Ziegler. For Bachelor of Arts in Human Geography, Nathan Cox. Ewan Gilmore. Alex Howard. For Dausa Jama. With first class honours, Charles Prothero. Hugh Waymond. For Bachelor of Science in Geography. With first class honours, Sam Allen. Nathan Barclay. Jacob Barron. Tom Bartlett. Alexandra Bourne. Michael Bedard. With first class honours, Joe Burkett. Pelham Botley. Billy Buckley, Jago Burris, Elizabeth Campbell, Sam Chance, George Cook. With first class honours and with the Institute of Environmental Management Dissertation Prize and with the prize for the best undergraduate student and with the Colin Warner Memorial Prize for best undergraduate student dissertation, Charlie Corbett.
Beth Coulson. Matthew Covington. With first class honours, Zoe Kalern. Ben Davison. Max Davison. With first class honours, Danielle Dempster. Jasmine Danoa. Emily Farnworth. Jamie Ferguson. Adam Fish. With first class honours, Ben Gostin. Hannah Griffiths. Stephen Harris. Kira Harty. Chloe Hemming. Bailey Heslop. With first class honours, Daniel Howlett. Bethany Hudson. With first class honours, Elisa May Highlands. <laughs> Rohan Johal. <laughs> Eleanor Johnson. <laughs> Alexander Judge. <laughs> Charlene Kumar. <laughs> Gregory McLinden. Jonadi Mendoza. Amrita Mohan. Edward Moncrief. Fiona Mulcahy. With first class honours, Chris Neelands. Emma O'Neill. <laughs> Natalia Oneshko. <laughs> Anoki Patel. <laughs> with first class honours and with the department prize for academic excellence and performance, Karis Reed. <laughs> Nick Roebuck. With first class honours and with the department prize for student citizenship and ac ac excellent academic performance, Amy Rowlands. <laughs> Duncan Shaw. <laughs> Mikavi Sivaguru Nathar. With first class honours and with the department prize for academic excellence and performance, Louise Smith. <laughs> Luke Staples. <laughs> Megan Stevens. <laughs> Poppy Stevens. <laughs> Megan Shroudley. Oliver Tavener. <laughs> Jessica Tomlinson. <laughs> Ever Yugaro. <laughs> Rebecca Warren. <laughs> Edward White. <laughs> Max Wong. Ryan Woodfine. <laughs> Jamie Wright.
Elena Weibro. With first class honours, Samuel Pilbeam. For Bachelor of Science in Physical Geography, Hannah Barnes. Rachel Barrett. Josh Bonner. Harry Byrne. Jacob Dampney. Nicholas Kilborn. With first class honours, Benny Lowendon. Ashley Merkel. With first class honours, Matthew Mundy. With the Department Prize for Academic Excellence and Performance, Roy Payne. Oliver Pusey. Charlotte Richardson. Simon Slattery. With first class honours, Scarlett Warham. Izzy White. For Master of Research in Science. With distinction, Sophie Edwardson. Michael Fisher. Natasha Kerwin. With distinction, Spencer Reed. With distinction, Robert Taylor. For Master of Science in Coastal and Marine Resource Management, Zach Coe. With distinction, Mark Conn. With distinction, Andy Force. With distinction, Kevin Franks. Jill Glover. Emily Harris. Billy Howitt. With distinction, David Jones. Josie Langdon. Bridget O'Brien. Alexander Powell. Bianca Princey. With distinction, Diana Rocha. Eliza Socrates. Emily Soma. Benjamin Waller. For Master of Science in Geographical Information Systems, Darren Howe. Grace Yoland Sinu Shemu. Sophia Sultana. With distinction, Lewis Swadling. With distinction, Matthew Swallow. For Doctor of Philosophy, for a program of research in the identification and quantification of surface change on limestone shore platforms of the Maltese Islands, Ritjen Duty.
for a programme of research in geotagging matters, the role of space and place in politicised social media disclosure, Adrian Tier. This concludes the presentation of students from the Department of Geography and today's ceremony. Well done. No one tripped. Vice-Chancellor, I present to you Sharia Watson to respond to the university on behalf of the graduates. Vice-Chancellor, honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen, it's an incredible honour to, to have been asked to speak with you today. We've looked forward to this day throughout our respective courses and it's finally here. Myself, like I'm sure many of us here, have inspiration. Why this course? Why this university? We've moved from all over the country and indeed the world to attend this multicultural and diverse institution. Some believe in fate or a plan. Whatever we believe, we're standing here together today. We stand as adults waiting on our next steps of self-discovery. Where will we go? What will we do? We are now prepared. I'm sure I'm not unique in thinking that there will be challenges, but what matters most is our inspiration, our drive and our courage that we have built over these last three years and beyond. Here with our classes and departments knowing that wherever we end up, we'll be prepared and supported by the relationships that we've established here at the University of Portsmouth. On behalf of the student body, I would also like to remember the late Dr. James Ost, our former head of Department of Psychology. Our success today is due in no small part to Dr. Ost's commitment to leading a department with students' engagement and achievement at its core. There's an old Palestinian proverb that roughly translates as one hand cannot clap. This is particularly important today as we acknowledge those like James that have helped us along our way and been that other hand, shaping our experiences here at the university. We've all worked incredibly hard to be here today, persevering with drive and dedication that we may all be successful in our next steps, whatever they may be. As we graduate today, let us remember the long nights, the strangers that became family, and the university that will forever make us one. Congratulations, graduates. We did it. Now at this point in the ceremony, it is customary for us to hear from our Chancellor, Karen Blackett, but unfortunately, she is unable to be with us today, but she always likes to speak to the graduates. So she has very kindly recorded a short video message. So let's now hear from Karen Blackett. Congratulations to all of you. This is an immensely proud day for you, your friends, and your family. You should be incredibly proud, as I am proud sharing it with you as the Chancellor of the University of Portsmouth. Now, I have sat where you were, or where you are, 25 years ago. And although that was quite a long time ago, I remember how emotional the day is. I remember the immense sense of pride and joy on my mother and my late father's face as my name was called out to collect the certificate. You should feel proud. Myself and my sister were the first generation in our family to go to university, and this may be true for some of you today. You are pioneers. 
Your time at the university will go on to become a big part of who you are and what you go on to achieve. You leave here today at least a foot taller than when you arrived. I hope the time at the university has helped you to unlock your true potential and also unlock your self-belief as it did me. I really want you to try and remember your friends that you have made at the university. These are your cheerleaders. Please also remember the lessons that you have been taught and that you have learnt at your time at the university. This is your compass. You leave the university today and you walk out into a world which may seem uncertain. A world of work which may not seem as though there's a really certain future. I really don't want you to worry because what you have to do is trust your head and your heart. You will need to be strong and resilient. You are equipped to deal with this, all of the uncertainty and all of the changes. You've got this. Most importantly, I want you to find your purpose. I want you to find your happy. Now, this may not be immediate right now because you have the euphoria of graduating and this ceremony, but you need to find it. And when you do, you need to grab hold of it with both hands as it will guide you through life. You have the potential to make the world a much, much happier place. I wish you Godspeed and I wish you good luck. I wish you all the joy and hope in the world in fulfilling a really joyful and happy life. Now, go out, change the world, and congratulations for being a graduate of the University of Portsmouth. I want to add my congratulations to all of you who have graduated and also to all those who have supported them while they have been studying at the university. I now declare this congregation is closed. Please be upstanding for the academic procession. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.